Recent years have seen the development of the startup ecosystem, thanks to the birth of new incubators and accelerators. But just what are incubators and accelerators? Incubators help startups turn their innovative ideas into reality. Meanwhile, accelerators help speed up the growth of these startups. Currently, there are about 20 incubators and accelerators across the country. And now we talk about the secret sauce that makes ESIP work. Now, before we get into all of this one, um, and we talk about social enterprises, you said earlier on that you have what you call the mature social enterprises. So that means that there are immature social enterprises. <laughs> Not really immature, but okay. more of early stage startups. Early stage, yes, yeah. that's right. But then, uh, how can you vet? How do you know that a startup is mature? Is it by the number of years that, that, that they've been running? Is it by how much income that they're making? Yeah, so um, at, uh, at ESIP program, we actually created a set of requirements and uh, we're, we are only able to say they're mature depending on the set of um, uh, requirements. So for example, we look at their for potential for social impact. The second one is potential for scaling and differentiation by using technology. The other one is if they have a validated uh, business model. Okay. And uh, lastly, uh, mature startup means uh, at least from our end we want them to be at least a year old and they have, they're already registered at the Securities and Exchange Commission. How do you measure potential for social impact? Unfortunately, I'm sure you've heard about the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Okay. So these are 17 pegs that we could use from which the social enterprise could see uh, to which sector they are benefiting okay. from. But the next question there also is, is that you talked about potential for scale. How do you see a scaling a social enterprise? So um, the potential for scaling up using innovative application or technology, that's actually what Phil that brings value to the ECP. Mm -hmm program. So we're thinking that the use of technology uh, could actually be the backbone of a social enter uh, enterprises. And uh, the beauty of technology is that it's not limited to say hardware or software or any internet-based uh, okay. application. It could be on their approach, on their methodology, uh, okay. it could be on their human resources processing, or it could be in their way of um, bringing in people. So things like that. It's the whole, uh, the whole spectrum of technology actually. What's the methodology once they are inside your accelerator, what specifically will they get from you guys? Okay, so uh, as mentioned earlier, we actually have a menu of services that we're going to get. So the first one is mentorship from world-class mentors and advisors. Mm -hmm. The other one is uh, we uh, provide them a strong network of support from our ESIP partners. Who are so, like whom? So for example, uh, the ESIP partner uh, would actually range from the academe uh, down to the government to impact investors to successful entrepreneurs themselves mm -hmm. and the backing of a UNDP field and DFAT is in itself a huge boost already. In addition, um, we're also allowing them to access to follow on funding from our ESIP uh, partners uh, that are funding, uh, funding so organizations. So they will have some funding when they're actually there. So uh, the ESIP program does not provide seed grant because what we want is to encourage that environment for SEs to actually um, be uh, how do you say this, trained and so that they would be able to access that investment from banks or from impact investors. Okay. So when they're with you, mm -hmm. um, basically they should be running and the money that they should be earning is what they're earning. So they don't get any money from yes. you, but they get all the training that they get yes. from you. Yes, yes. So ESIP is actually a collaborative platform. We're bringing in the network of FILDEV, of UNDP and DFAT uh, for these social entrepreneurs. So, I mean, I would say that had I been an entrepreneur myself, I would be really fortunate to be part of that accelerator program. Okay, and how yeah. long does it take to be in the accelerator program? So the accelerator program is uh, actually run for uh, one year, but mm -hmm. the first six months is an extensive uh, mentorship, all these activities at the pitch karaoke session, they have the demo day with impact investors. And then um, once you're able to access uh, funds and they have a six months of light touch, and then we actually have a program or a project what we call financial management plan wherein we'll teach um, social enterprise how to actually manage the funds that they have. What makes sure that when you bring in all the startups into mm -hmm. you guys that they are committed to stay? I mean, since they're not getting any funding from you, they're just getting basically education from mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they can say, I'm too, I'm too busy for this one. I, you know, I'm doing my, my own thing because that, that, that's the natural tendency for many of these people unless you're giving them some sort of subsidy to stay. Yeah. Well, um, w it has been clear with us that um, the menu of services or benefits that you're going to get from uh, the ESIP program would uh, go beyond funding. Mm -hmm. I think, um, actually, before we started the program, we've conducted a needs-based assessment among all the startups. And I think, uh, well, the most or primary um, need that they have is a mentor that would uh, really stay with them um, like through thick and thin. And then that's what we're uh, uh, giving them. Also, we're providing them um, 
um, available resources for, say, free legal, free legal audit and compliance uh, consulting. I mean, these are things that you cannot just get out of nowhere, mm -hmm. right? Um, we're also allowing them to use a co-working space. That's very basic. So, and of course, the network of of, of people who would really boost them. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like a one-stop shop that we're offering to uh, social enterprises. Yeah. Very ambitious, world-changing goals for you guys. <laughs> but I think the big question over here is that where will you take ESIP next? But before answering that question, Emil, let's take a break.